Hello everybody, how you doing? Drop time at 13. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix broken applications and as well as how to update your computer. So as you guys may have known, I was complaining about how I can't update my computer. That's because in order to update actually, you need the App Store. The App Store is an app that came with the, um, I believe it was the 10.6.6 .6 update. And then the update, all the future updates are done from here after 10.6.8. So I can upgrade C right here, free upgrade if I wanted to right now. But the problem was before is I didn't have the App Store because mine was corrupted. And the problem was is since the App Store came in an update, there aren't any other download links out there to get the App Store. So you have to reinstall your computer software. But I mean, I found a much easier way to do that. So just give me a second. I'll set everything up for you. So right now I'm at the exact same state I was before. So if you go, try to go back to the App Store now and try to launch it, I can't open it because the, there's a um, file is damaged or incomplete. So this means that when my computer is updating, somehow the file got damaged. So what you want to do is you want to go under Finder, go to the application. So find the application that you can't open. So App Store, and right click on it. You right click, you get all these different options. Open, which won't work. Move to trash, get info. You can compress it, you can burn it on a CD. What you want to do is you want to, sorry about that, you want to show package contents. Then right here is your contents folder. As you can see, I, I have resources in here and then the app store help. So that doesn't work. So the problem is, is you don't want this in here. You this is a bad contents folder, so what this looks like. Now what a contents folder should look like, so I have this new one right here. It should look like this with your code signatures all in here. Mac OS X, all these different plugins, version list. So all that's the same. So what you want to do is you want to open up an app of the exact same version. So my brother's computer is also on 10.6.8, thank goodness that it was. And he has his app was working. So what I was able to do is able to get his contents. And so that's why I have my computer right now, his his contents folder of a good app store. So all you're gonna want to do is you want to drag this out, you can throw it in the trash and check in an old. Just for purposes, so you can see here I have my old contents. And that's always just you know save backup, so at least you can always revert back in case something broke. What do you want to take this and drag it to trash? But you need your so to log in as your administrator. You gotta authenticate this because you're messing with apps, and you have to authenticate yourself to do that. So what I want to do is want to come in new. I want to take this new contents folder and drag it in. And authenticate again. And then you have your brand new contents folder you just dragged into your old contents folder. And now to relaunch the App Store, it works. As simple as that, it's a quick fix, but you have to have the person the exact same version. If you're running the exact same version of, of the app as, as you are, so like my brother is running the same exact version 1.6.8 1. 1. so I was able to take his contents folder and do that. Where's my dad who was running Yosemite or 10.10.3 .10 I believe it is where I tried to do his it was too new so you have to have the exact same version of the contents folder just copy it do Dropbox whatever and you say have your brand new contents folder and the app store works again so once you hit the app store is that's how you got your feature updates. Because if I go in or check for software update, if I were to check for a software update, it wouldn't say I can update it because software updates are no longer done through this tab. This tab is irrelevant right now. You want to go under App Store, look under Updates, and then you want to go here, you want to free upgrade, and you're going to log in as your administrator and you're going to upgrade your system. So I'll get to that eventually. That's a quick little trick on how to fix that broken applications, you know, if anybody needs the files, I have my computer, so if you need them, just leave me a comment, I'll direct message you to my Skype, and then I will do file sharing through Skype, and get you the files that way, and then just follow the steps, step by step after you have the files. Well, that's how you, that's how you fix the App Store or any other application, you just gotta go under Finder, find the app, right click on it, show package contents and you have a context folder you want to make sure you have a good contents folder you have a bad one actually I can take it from trash 
is a bad one. It won't have like, any stuff. It'll just have maybe like resources tab, whatever. But you want to have all your coding in here. There should be multiple folders and multiple texts. So that's how you know you have a good one. If you have a bad one like this one, you'll just have your resources folder and it'll be broken. That's this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learn how to fix the App Store if it's broken. So until next video, guys, just let me know what other, what other tutorials you want me to see. And if I come up with anything else I can't find the answer to, then I'll do a video on it myself. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm the 13th, signing off. Goodbye. Part 2 of the video is how to make the YouTube channel a lot more better and look a lot better. So right off the bat, you, you can see here I have these little columns here. But you know your little... How does everything look?